Hello students, today I am going to start with the chapter called quadratic equation. This chapter is basically the chapter number 4 and this chapter is basically intended for the class 10 students. So let's try to understand what a quadratic equation is. So an equation which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 where a, b and c are real numbers is called as a quadratic equation. Now what do we mean by real numbers? All the numbers which can be plotted on the number line like rational numbers, irrational numbers, natural number, whole numbers, all these are known as real numbers. So an equation of this form is known as a quadratic equation. Now what are some examples of quadratic equation? So if I write 2x square plus x minus 300 equals to 0, will this be a quadratic equation? Yes, because this is in the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Here what is a? a is your 2. What is b? b is the coefficient of x. What is the coefficient of x? How do we find out the coefficient of a variable? If we just hide that variable, whatever we are seeing, it is known as the coefficient. So if we hide x, what we will see? We will see nothing. Nothing means what? 1. So what is the coefficient, uh, so what is the value of b? The value of b is 1. Now what is the value of c? The c is the constant term. So constant term here is how much? It is minus 300. Now another condition to be remembered in case of quadratic equation is that out of a, b and c, b and c can be 0 but a can never be 0. Now why a cannot be 0 in case of a quadratic equation? a cannot be 0 in case of a quadratic equation because if we put a equals to 0 then the equation will become a linear equation. Let's check it out. So in place of a if I just put 0 what we will get? We will get 0 into x square plus bx plus c equals to 0. So ultimately we are getting bx plus c equals to 0 which is not of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Therefore, in case of a quadratic equation, a can never be 0. So, we can say that an equation of the, so you can say that in a quadratic equation, what is the mandatory condition? The mandatory condition is that the highest power of the variable in that equation should be 2. Okay, so if the highest, but here we have, what is the highest power of the variable? What is the variable here? The variable is x. What is the highest power of the variable here? The highest power of the variable is 1. So it cannot be a quadratic equation. So for an equation to be a quadratic equation, it must be of this form and the highest power of the variable should be 2. It cannot be less than 2 and it cannot be more than 2. So if I just write ax uh, like if I write 4x cube minus 3x square plus 4x minus 3 equals to 0. Is it a quadratic equation? No. Because what is the highest power of the variable here? The highest power is 3. So it is not a quadratic equation. Okay. So what we have learned till now? Till now we have learned that the standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 where a, b and c are real numbers and a can never be equals to 0. So if I write 2x square plus 8 equals to 0, is it a quadratic equation? Yes, the highest power of the variable is how much? The highest power of the variable is 2. But if I write like 7x plus 8 equals to 0, is it a quadratic equation? No, because the highest power of the variable is 1 here. Okay, so this cannot be a quadratic equation. Also, you must remember that, so okay, let's take an example like 4x minus 3x square plus 2 equals to 0. Is it a quadratic equation? So at first you will see, what is, is the highest power of the variable 2? Yes, the highest power of the variable is 2. Now, even if the terms are interchanged, then also ultimately it is in this form. So we can say that this is also a quadratic equation. Now let's go to the first topic of quadratic equation. So what is the first topic of quadratic equation? The first topic is that you will be given an equation in some jumbled form and you need to check whether that equation is a quadratic equation or not. So topic one is checking for 
quadratic equation. So the question is check whether the following are quadratic equations or not. So let's take one the first problem which is x plus 1 whole square equals to 2 into x minus 3. So our aim will be to convert any equation to the form ax plus ax square plus bx plus c equals to plus c equals to 0. If we can convert it into this form then it is a quadratic equation otherwise it cannot be termed as a quadratic equation. So what we will do at first we will simplify it as far as possible. So the first in uh, the equation in the left hand side you can see that it is in the form of a plus b whole square all of you already know the formula for a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square okay so this is the formula for a plus b whole square now here what is a a is x what is b b is 1 so we'll apply this particular formula which will give us the result as x square plus 2 into a what is a, a is x what is b b is 1 so into 1 plus 1 square equals to here we need to apply the distributive law at first 2 will be multiplied with x so it will be how much 2x now before 2 we have plus before 3 we have minus so plus minus is how much it is minus then we need to multiply 2 with 3 what is 2 into 3 2 into 3 is 6 now what we will get ultimately we are getting x square plus 2x plus 1 square is 1 equals to 2x minus 6. Now see in both the sides we are getting a common term which is 2x. Now if you get a common term you can cut it from both sides only if the symbol before that term is the same. Now what is the symbol before 2x it is plus in the left hand side what is the symbol before 2x in the RHS it is plus therefore we can cut 2x from both the sides. Now let's bring everything to the left hand side. So one another aim of you would be to bring everything towards the left hand side. So we'll get x square plus 1 on the right hand side. Before 6 we have minus. So if we bring it to the left hand side it will become plus equals to 0. So ultimately we are getting x square plus 7 equals to 0. Now is it in the form of ax square plus b? bx plus c equals to 0 yes it is in this form now see out of a b and c b and c can be 0 but a cannot be 0 and we can check it with how we can check it we, we have to see whether uh, the highest power of the variable is 2 or not yes the highest power of the variable is 2 and it is in this form therefore it is a quadratic equation so how can we write it we can write it in this form which is in the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 where a comma uh, a equals to what is the value of a here 1 a means the coefficient of the square term what is the coefficient of the square term how to find out the coefficient just hide that term when you hide that term when you hide x square what you are seeing you are seeing nothing that means 1 is there so the value of a is 1 what is b b means the coefficient of the x term now there is no uh, x term here therefore b is 0 yes b can be 0 and what is c c means the constant term means the term without any variable which is 7 so therefore what we can say therefore we can say that the given equation is a quadratic equation okay due to lack of space i am writing in this form so the last line is that since it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero therefore the given equation is a quadratic equation let's go to the next problem of this type which is so i'll do number two now so number two let's take a different type of problem which is x minus two into x plus 1 equals to x minus 1 into x plus 3 okay so we'll solve and simplify both the sides so how to solve this type of thing i think you know x should be multiplied with x plus 1 
then we have what minus 2 should be multiplied with x plus 1 similarly we'll do the same thing on the right hand side x into x plus 3 minus 1 into x plus 3 i could have done it directly but some of you may not understand so i am expanding it so here apply the distributive law x into x is how much x square plus x into 1 is x minus 2 into x is 2x plus minus is minus 2 ones are 2 next here we have x into x which is x square plus x into 3 3 x plus minus is minus x into 1 is x plus minus is minus 3 ones are how much it is 3 so now see we have so what we can do we can cut x square from both the sides so ultimately what we are getting bring everything towards the left hand side so we are getting x minus 2x minus 2 minus 3x so you already know that if a term comes from the right hand side to the left hand side it becomes the sign changes means plus becomes minus minus becomes plus into becomes divide divide becomes into so before 3x we have plus so if it comes to the other side it becomes minus so here will become plus x and minus 3 will become how much it will become plus 3 equals to 0 you already have got about these rules in your class 8 so now we can add or subtract all of you i think know this rule that we can add or subtract only like terms so what we can do whatever before whatever terms we have the plus symbol we can bring it together so what we can do x plus x before whatever symbols we have minus sign like terms we can bring it together we have bought it together and now we are left with minus 2 plus 3 equals to 0 i'm deliberately uh, just expanding it so that all the students can understand now x plus x is how much it is 2x and before both the symbols here we have minus if before both the symbols we have minus sign then we will do plus but the sign will always be minus so do plus here uh, 3x plus 2x is how much it is 5x but the sign will be minus so it is minus 5x so minus 2 plus 3 again i'm saying the rule here if before one number we have minus before another number we have plus we will do minus but the sign will be that one which will be before the greater number so we'll do minus two three minus two is how much it is one what is the sign before the greater number it is plus so the answer would be plus one equals to zero so 2x minus 3x going by the same rule will will get minus 3x plus one equals to zero now is it in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero no it is not in that form because here the value of a is zero okay because there is no square term if there is no square term we can immediately declare that it is not a quadratic equation so how can we write it we can write it in the following form which is not in the form a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero therefore the given equation is not a quadratic equation i have written in short form but in exam you should never write in short form okay let's go to the next problem of this particular topic which is x so this is the number three which is x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equals to x minus 2 whole cube so the question is x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equals to x minus 2 whole cube you have to check whether it is a quadratic equation or not now here in the right hand side you can see that it is of the form a minus b whole cube what is the formula for a minus b whole cube you have already got in class 9 it is a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube so we'll apply this formula in the right hand side so let's solve it so we'll get x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equals to this is a minus b whole cube so what we'll do x cube 
minus 3 into a, a is x, 3 into a square b means x square into b, what is b, b is your 2, 3a square b plus 3ab square, a is x, what is b, b is 2, means 2 square minus b cube, b cube means 2 cube, so what we can do here, here cube term, both the cube term will go away because in the left hand side also we have x cube, in the right hand side also we have x cube. So ultimately we are getting minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equals to 3 to the 6, so minus 6x square plus 3 into 2 square, 2 square is 4, 4 3 is a, we are getting 12x minus 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8 here. So now what you will do, you will bring everything towards the left hand side. I am just combining the like terms together in this part only, in the this line only, okay. So now I am just shortening it a bit. So minus 4x square, what is the square term in the right hand side? It is minus 6x square. So if I bring it towards this side, it will, will get plus 6x square. Here we have minus x. So what is the x term here? Plus 12x. So if I bring it to this side we'll get minus 12x here we have plus 1 here we have minus 8 so if it goes to this side it will become how much it will become plus 8 equals to 0 so ultimately we are getting minus 4x square okay so sorry here we can add or subtract the like terms these two are like terms so before one sim one term we have minus before another term we have plus so we'll do minus but the sign will be that one which is before the greater number. So what we'll do? 6 minus 4 is 2. What is the sign before the greater number? It is plus. So the answer would be 2x square. Here, what will be the answer? Before both the term, we have minus sign. So we'll do plus, but the sign will be minus. 12 plus 1 is 13. So we'll get minus 13x plus 1 plus 8 is how much? It is 9 equals to 0. Now, is it in the form of ax square plus b? x plus c equals to 0 yes in the it is in that that form so we can write it which is in the form a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 therefore the given equation is a quadratic equation so that's all for the topic one. I hope you have understood the basic concepts of topic one. I'll see you in the next video on quadratic equation with topic two. Till then, you can just practice some more numericals based on topic one. Thank you very much.